Hi guys, welcome back to Page Monkeys. So today I'll be recommending The Girl Who Drank the Moon by Kelly Barnhill. Let's get started. So I read this book rather recently because I've heard of it before, but I haven't tried it, so I decided to try it out because it was an award winner and stuff. It also kind of interested me because it was um, a fantasy novel, which is a genre that I like. So now let's get to the book. So The Girl Who Drank the Moon takes place in the kingdom, and in that kingdom, it's rumored that um, there's a witch in the forest, and every year to keep peace between um, the, the, villi the villagers and the witch, um, the villagers sacrifice one of their babies to the witch so that um, the witch won't harm them. And it's basically a peace offering. But what they don't know is that the witch in the woods is actually true, but she's actually an old and gentle witch called um, San or something. And um, each year when the villagers sacrifice their babies to her, um, she finds them and she doesn't ask why she's getting all these babies, but she feels that it's her, res her responsibility to take care of them. And, um, give them to um, uh, give families and stuff. So each year when she receives one of the babies, she feeds them starlight, which is basically light from the stars to make them healthy. And after that, she goes, to, she journeys to the three cities and gives the, the children away to one of the parents. But it isn't the mother's choice that they want to sacrifice the baby or not, it's a must. And if the mother fights and refuses to sacrifice, then um, then the mother gets banished forever and punished, basically. So basically, this book has four main characters, which are Luna, Antine, Adara, and San. And in one point, all of them meet together. So I've talked about San, but you probably don't know who Luna, Antine, and Adara are. So let me just explain. So Antine is the grandson of Gurland, a famous um, a famous elder in the kingdom. And one day Antine witnesses the sacrificing ritual, I mean routine in the kingdom. And he witnesses as one of the mothers refuses to um, hand over her baby and she's deemed a mad woman and banished forever. So the mother's name is actually Adara, even though she forgets it afterwards. She forgets her name afterwards because she's mad and um, the baby's name is unknown. So when the baby is forced out of Adara's hands, um, the baby is left inside the woods and Adara is banished forever. And Antine witnesses all of this. So at, at night, um, San finds another baby in the woods and she um she picks the baby up and feeds her starlight but instead of feeding her starlight she accidentally feeds her moonlight which is light from the moon and it enmagics her and makes her have magical powers and, and stuff so uh, after that San realizes her mistake and she's horrified of what she's done and she, did, she just decides to take her as her own daughter instead of um, instead of giving her to um, a family. So when San adopts the baby, she names her Luna, which is, so now you know all four of the main characters. So in Luna's childhood, um, she experiences random bursts of magic and they become more and more frequent even though San is trying to She's trying really hard to cover up all kinds all of the magic because she wants Luna to be as normal as she, um, she can. But it's proving more and more difficult. Meanwhile, Adara, who's um, been deemed a madwoman and banished forever, um, she's vowing for revenge and she wants everything. Um, she wants more than anything to get revenge on the witch because and she wants to get her baby back so i thought this book was really interesting because um it kept me reading even though it wasn't like really action-packed and it was really unique so i hope you read this book and i'll see you next time bye